worship you. Thank you for tonight, Lord. Glory be to your name, God. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. to tonight's prayer meeting or main week service. Okay, prophetically we declare it as prayer meeting. I just want to pray tonight. I was just led that way. Uh, we'll be praying tonight. Just my heart is saying that the spirit of prayer, grace uh, for grace and supplication will come upon us afresh tonight. As we pray. Praise God. Want to thank God for his faithfulness for some forms tonight. As we approach his presence. In the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 35. Luke 21, 35. It says, For as a seer shall it come. On all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Our way of asking, watch ye therefore and pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Brethren of it, of a truth, we are in the end of the end times. And the things that are coming to pass, that we have just witnessed the COVID-19, comes as a snare upon the whole earth. No nation was exempted. We want to lift up our voice tonight. The Bible says we should watch and pray. That we will escape so that we be counted worthy. Worthy. Accounted worthy to escape all these things. We want to thank God for that divine escape tonight. In the precious name of Jesus. We want to lift up every member of our family. We want to lift up every member of the church. We want to lift up all our friends. All our uh, family members. Extended family members. We just want to lift up our voice tonight and pray. And thank God for that escape, divine escape. That we have encountered worthy. That all our siblings, all our friends, all our family members to be counted worthy to escape, to escape. Divine escape for everyone, all our loved ones, every member of the church. Brother, shall we lift up our voice tonight in the name of Jesus? We watch and pray so that we we'll be accounted worthy to escape the snare that will come upon the earth. No matter what is now we be, we say tonight in the name of Jesus, as we lift up our voice in Jesus' precious name. Lord, committing every member of our family unto your hand, of God. We lift them before your throne of grace this evening, Lord, this night, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We lift up every member of Covenant of Chapel before your throne of grace tonight. All oh, my friends and siblings, Lord, I bring them under the covering of the precious blood of Jesus, under the canopy of your arm, of your wings, Lord. In the precious name of Jesus, Lord, we pray tonight and decree and declare divine escape, divine escape, divine escape from COVID-19. In the name of Jesus, we decree divine escape. We decree divine escape in the precious name of Jesus. Whatever may come upon the earth tomorrow, Lord, whatever it may be, whatever name it may be called, Lord, we decree and declare tonight divine escape, divine escape, divine escape, divine escape. Riesco Panaske, Telebrigan Alabos, Sissi, the Mosca and Alaboski. Roska Basin, Telebrigan Alabosca and Alaboska. Mesoto Rikanda Labo, Shita Brava. Oh, Riga Brakanta Labris, Kamasotia, Telebrigan Alaboska and Alaboska. Rika Brakasa Siglamo. Rika Baba 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 Baba
Merikande ibe kene bi inele boska na la boska ye roka ba 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 shita bra kanda la bi inele boska na la boska raga masuto bi inele bo raga ba 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 shita la bi inele boska na la boska na la boska na la bo malisa ta bi inele bo shita la ba 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 shita bi inele boska na la boska oh yes Lord ye kan bra kanda la bo iya ga bi inele boska na la bo we decree the man escape tonight in the name of Jesus. The man escape, Lord, for all our loved ones, for every member of the church. The man escape. The man escape. The man escape. The man escape. We prophesy the man escape in the name of Jesus. Hey, we decree that the snare of COVID-19 is broken in the name of Jesus. Broken. Broken. The snare of COVID-19 is broken over our members. Lord, in the name of Jesus, over our family members, in the name of Jesus, over our loved ones, in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare to men that the snare is broken. Merus ketalabo sheda la ba 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 ba. Ereka prakanta la roke se se debo. Raka bete de mega la musa la musi la muska. Maka se te peni ya kama sa la debo. Roga bete de de musi la debo. Reka roga de de musi la debo. Riga brugi de lebosi na labo, eka prince de bolu baye na labo, si na labo, si na labo, si na labo, si na labo. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' precious name, we are praying. I know Alejo we spent a long time using Psalm 91 in prayer, and we expanded on Psalm 91 at the beginning of the season of the lockdown. I want to pray tonight. I want to lift all our children for the throne of grace. Particularly, as they have been soon school, those in the colleges, those in the universities, one, and those in the uh, secondary school and primary school. We just want to lift down all of them before the throne of grace tonight. I want to cover them with the precious blood of Jesus. In Korean 9, 11 and 12. As for thee also, by the blood of thy covenant, I have, have sent out thy prisoners out of the pit where there is no water. Turn ye to the stronghold, oh, ye prisoners of hope. This day do I declare and end that double unto you. The Lord will put them under that stronghold of the precious blood of Jesus tonight, in the name of Jesus. The Lord will declare and declare that we mark them clearly with the precious blood of Jesus. And according to Psalm 91, what will be clear and clear that uh, in the name of Jesus? Uh, since it's today that do it, we want to put them under the secret place of the whole side tonight, and that they will abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And we say of the Lord, He is their refuge and their fortress, our God in whom we trust. Surely she shall deliver, deliverance, deliverance from the snare of the fowl. And from no suppressment, oh, he shall cover them with his wings, with his feathers. And not that his wings they shall cross, his truth and, and, and uh, shall be their shield and buckler. And shall, that they shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day, nor for the person that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. Though a thousand before at their side and ten thousand on their right hand, it shall not come near them. Only with their eyes they will behold the, the, and see the world of the wicked. Because they have made the Lord, which is our refuge, they were the most side their habitation. There shall no evil befall them in the name of Jesus. Neither shall any plague come nigh their dwelling. For they shall, uh, for the Lord has given an incendiary charge over them to keep them in all their ways. They shall bear them up in their hands, lest they dash their food against a stone. They shall tread upon the, the lion and earth. The young lion and the dragon shall they trample on their feet. Because they have set their love upon the yoga. Therefore, Will you deliver them? We will send them. We will send them on high because they have known your name. They shall call upon thee, Lord, and you say you will answer them. They will be with them in trouble 
and you will deliver them and you will honor them. With long life, will you, will you satisfy them, Lord, and show them your salvation? And so, Lord, we bring all our children before you tonight from the tertiary, from the primary to the tertiary institution. Lord, in Jesus' name, one and all, committing all of them under the canopy of the wing, under the secret place of the most high. Mark patently by the precious blood of Jesus. Lord, tonight in Jesus' mighty name, committing them afresh unto your hand, we ask in the name of Jesus that no evil shall befall them. Lord, in the name of Jesus, no break and a broken and a motion and a mosque and a mosque and a mosque. Oh, with the great complete escape concerning the Lord God. Lord, in the name of Jesus, they will never be a victim. No, 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 no. In the keeper, this child and that sickness, Lord. Lord, you are their keeper, Lord, in the name of Jesus. You keep and watch over them day and night. Lord, we thank you for your angels that surround and guard them. Say the angel of the Lord surround them that they fear him. Lord, because they are the seed of the righteous. Lord, we praise you for your angels. Angels that surround them, that keep them, that guide them. Oh, hallelujah. Merus Karaboshi Dalaboski. Tonight in the name of Jesus. Set to Bragala Baba 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 Baba. Merus Kadala Kreska City the Brigala Bosha Dalaboska. Now we say that they will be under your watchful eyes and care in the precious name of Jesus. No evil shall befall them at all. In the precious name of Jesus. Mele Kande the Brigala Laboski. Yeruba Kandala Brigala Bosana Balaboska Sister Boska Dalaboska. Oh, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We give you praise, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Still, in the attitude of prayer, we have said much about Mosiah. For Mosiah. I want us to pray tonight. What will release the grace that attends this mountain that pertains to Mount Zion? We have spoken about the fact that Isaiah 25, verse 6 and 7 declares clearly that on Mount Zion the veil will be destroyed, the face of the covering will be removed. We well, will thank God for that tonight. The Bible says, Honor and majesty and glory are in his sanctuary. We well, will go ahead and thank God tonight. And as the people of God attend, as they, as they ascend Mount Zion, clearly they will interact, they will contact, they will encounter the glory of God in Jesus' mighty name. I want to go ahead and pray tonight as we have said concerning Mosiah that it is in the gathering together of the saints that we realize the prophetic gift the prophetic gift or the move of the spirit when the spirit of God begins to move the, the gift of prophecy we saw it in the case of um, uh, what's it called? Ode, sorry the case of Jehoshaphat Hallelujah I want to pray tonight to release the presence of God, encounter, encounter of Mosiah. We have said much. I want us to engage all that we have said, as many as you can remember. Glory be to God, we said uh, the divine wisdom, revelation on it, encounter with the wisdom of God, encounter with revelation on it, in the name of Jesus. And of course, let's pray about the attitude of the people as well, that as they come, grace. Grace, grace, grace to be engaged, to drop whatever excess baggage, whatever will weigh them, weigh them that is a weight to them, and they will drop it at the entrance of the church there. And as they enter here to be intentional, they will be focused and be engaged with the Lord of hosts who they have come to meet upon Mosiah. And in the name of Jesus, we want to pray for that divine encounter. The man activity taking place, like Genesis 28, where 
Jacob declare, this is no order than the very gate of heaven, the house of God. And indeed, in the name of Jesus, such order of activity will be taking place upon Mount Zion, henceforth in Jesus' name. It was a Shiloh, Mount Zion, that Anna received her breakthrough. Again, we saw that in, in, in 4 Samuel 3, 21, the Lord appeared again unto Samuel by his word upon Mount Zion. So we have said much about Mount Zion and the encounter that God has prepared for us there. So I want us to go ahead tonight in the name of Jesus. And the people of God will come with the right disposition. With a prepared attitude that you prepare heart. In the precious name of Jesus. So that the Spirit of God will be free to move in our midst. And like the days of old, we again begin to see the manifestation of God in our midst. We begin to see again the transformation. Because as we are saying as Abraham with his, with his, with his son ascended, my mom Uriah and offered, he offered his son upon that altar. The Bible said the angel of God spoke from heaven. And we know that in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 22 to 24, the congregants upon Mount Zion is a divine human fellowship. Let's pray to now and release angelic intervention, the, the interaction, the interaction with the spirit of just men made perfect. The blood of Jesus, blood of sprinkling, becoming more effective in the house of God. Jesus Christ, who is the Georgia, uh, who, who is the uh, mediator of the new covenant in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, God, if, uh, who is the judge of all. All that pertains to us upon Mosiah, that we will begin to take advantage of them in the name of Jesus. That God will begin to train his people in a very unique way so that they begin to understand purpose of the ascending Mount Zion in the precious name of Jesus. The Bible says in, in Matthew 16 verse 7, 16 to 19, uh, that thou art Peter, upon this rock I will build my church, and the gate of hell shall not prevail against it. Hallelujah. And goes on to say, uh, Matthew, hallelujah, Matthew 16, Beginning from 16 to 19. So I wanted to quote it. And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Bar for flesh and blood has not revealed this it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say unto you, unto thee, that, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind, or thou shalt be bound in heaven. And whatever thou shalt lose, or thou shalt be loose in heaven. Hallelujah. Even as in the case of Abraham, uh, the Bible says that as he offered Isaac, the angel of God appeared from heaven. Remember, he named the, place, the name of the place Jehovah Jireh. That as the people of God attained up this mountain, as they ascend this mountain, in the name of Jesus, clearly they will see the provision of God. Encounter with God that will show them the provision, the provision. Whatever they may be going through, the encounter that will open their eyes to see the provision of God. Jehovah Jireh, in the precious name of Jesus. Shall we pray tonight? Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for the way you've been speaking to us about the divine protocol uh, concerning Mount Zion. Lord, we want to pray tonight for ourselves and pray for every member of the church, all our sons and daughters, ever concerning the attitude, Lord, observing the protocol upon Mount Zion. Lord, grace that teaches, Lord, we pray tonight, we teach every member of this church, oh God, the importance of our garden upon Mount Zion. Lord, and all the blessings you have promised concerning us, oh God, to behold your beauty, Lord, for transformation. Revelation knowledge, the removal of veils, O oh God, and the face of covering. Lord, encounter with your presence, encounter with your glory. Answers, O oh God, and solutions, O oh God. Lord, 
encounter with your wisdom, revelation on it. Lord, in the name of Jesus, angelic ministration, the spirit of adjustment, may perfect interaction upon this mountain. Lord, all that pertains to our ascension upon this mountain. Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the power of corporate prayer, in the name of Jesus, Lord, tonight, in Jesus' name, we come together in that power of agreement and we agree together. Lord, let this be the, uh, the portion of every member, everyone that will step out into the step, step into this sanctuary. That indeed, oh God, this will be a prepared environment, oh God, Mount Zion, a prepared atmosphere, Lord, in the name of Jesus, for your people to encounter your mercy, oh Lord, divine visitation, divine uh, uh, revelation, Lord, in the name of Jesus, divine oh, encounter with your presence, oh God, with the glory of God. Lord, in the name of Jesus, that your people will carry your glory out of here, oh God. Lord, we with divine wisdom, oh God, to solve problems in the society. Father, in the name of Jesus, may no really get lost in the Lebowski. You say, upon this mountain, you are raising, oh God, those who will lead in their respective mountains, oh God. Lord, the seven uh, mountains of influence in the society. Lord, in the name of Jesus, may no Wisdom, oh God, wisdom, oh God, wisdom like the wisdom of the God. As Daniel can, was content to carry the wisdom of God in his generation. So we bring, oh God, every member before you, God. As Joseph was accounted to have the wisdom of God. Well, let every member be seen, oh God, because the encounter, this mountain will produce the encounter. Lord, in the name of Jesus, the encounter that will cause a complete transformation. Encounter that will cause, oh God, Lord, complete transformation in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now I want to pray about restoration and recovery. We'll put it in, in form of teaching, but I, I, I felt led so that um, we just turn it into prayer. One basic area we need to pray about tonight as we pray about restoration and recovery is about the alignment with the divine destiny or the divine purpose of God for our lives. Hallelujah. I'm still praying about it. If, if it's, um, you might be having the anointing on Sunday. Glory be to God. Um, in 4 Samuel, 4 Samuel, 4 Samuel chapter 10, after Saul was anointed, there was a definite restoration of the destiny of Saul. He was meant to be a king, yet up to this time, he was following the sheep, he was a farmer. But the day he was anointed, Samuel spoke to him prophetically concerning his destiny. So in 1 Samuel chapter 10, what do you think was this year? Then Samuel took a veil of oil and put it upon his head and kissed him and said, Is it not because the Lord has anointed me to be captain over his inheritance? Without the anointing, that was not realizable in his life. That was a restoration of his divine destiny. Yes. There may be a lot of our members who, without the anointing of the Holy Spirit, will never, never be awakened to the reality of their destiny and purpose. So 
that's why this prayer tonight is very, very significant. When thou art departed from me today, then thou shalt, shalt find two men by Richard Sepulchre and the brother of Benjamin at Zelza. And they will say unto thee, The asses which thou wentest to see are found. And lo, thy father has left the care of the asses and sorrow for you, saying, What shall I do for my son? Then shall thou go on forward from thence, and thou shalt come to the plain of Tabor, and there shall thou shalt, shalt meet thee three men going up to God to better the house of God. One carrying three kids, another carrying three loaves of bread, and another carrying a bottle of wine. And they will salute thee and give thee two loaves of bread which thou shalt receive of their hands. After thou shalt come to the hill of God, here is the garrison of the Philistines. And it shall come to pass when thou art come thither to the city, that thou shalt meet a company of prophets coming down from the high place with satri and a tablet and a pipe and a harp before thee, before, before them, and they shall prophesy. And the spirit of the Lord shall come upon thee. I mean, you can see how this is what we can call divine uh, helpers, helpers of this. How their pathway will be aligned. This pathway was be aligned with the circle of destiny. Hallelujah. And thou shalt prophesy with them and shall be turned into another man. That encounter, they are not in uh, uh, kind of figure of this. When he met the prophets and prophesied with them, something happened to him. It was torn to another man. It was torn to another man. What do we mean by he was torn to another man? He no longer think like a farmer. He was no longer thinking about how many bushels of uh, corn or whatever. That was a change of mentality. His mentality was changed. He began to think as a state man. He began to think about administration. He began to think as a prince and a leader. No longer as a father. What to pray? Okay, let's read Joel, which we read on Sunday. It was used in prayer. Joel chapter 2. It takes the anointing. Brethren, by saying this is that anointing that will bring the restoration. In the area of your destiny, whatever you have lost, your helpers of destiny, whatever is connected in the precious name of Jesus to your destiny, which you have missed, by reason of the anointing, there will be a complete restoration in Jesus' mighty name. So, Joel 2, 21, Fear not, O Lord, the glad and the joys, for the Lord will do great things. The Lord will do great things. Amen. Be not afraid in this of the field, for the pastors of the wilderness will spring. For the tree bearers are fruit, the fig tree and the vine do yield their strength. The glad day, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given you the former rain moderately, and it will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the, in the first month. That is to say, the combination of the rain, the first and the last. And the frost shall be full of wheat, and the vats shall overflow with the wine. Hallelujah. Overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the cankerworm and the caterpillar and the palmerworm, my great army which I sent among you. And you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the Lord, the Lord your God who has dealt wondrously with you. 
and my people shall never be ashamed. And you shall know that I am in the, in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and no else, and my people shall never be ashamed. The people of God, I want us to pray tonight. The latter and the former, the anointing that will usher us into our divine destiny. The anointing that will release our helpers of destiny across our pathway. In this season, whatever we need, is it our mindset? We can't, you can't, you can't be thinking as a slave and rule as a king. Hallelujah. We need to become another person. Another mindset needs to process us. The anointing equips us and keeps us in that area. The anointing can change the mindset of a man. That's what we saw in the case of Saul. When the anointing came upon him, he was turned to another man. Another man. This is the season. Whatever God has predetermined for us to be, let the anointing activate that. Let the anointing activate it tonight in the name of Jesus. Let it be affected by the anointing tonight. In the name of Jesus. People of God shall we open our mouth in Jesus' mighty name. There are people who are called to be businessmen. You can't be thinking like uh, somebody who is a farmer as a, as a businessman. The mentality of a businessman needs to possess you in the name of Jesus. Are you called to be an educationist? Are you called to be whichever field you are called to be? Whatever grace you need in that field, let the Spirit of God, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, equip you tonight. In the name of Jesus, receive that equipment by the anointing, by the former and the latter day tonight. Receive the equipment, receive the equipment, receive the equipment. In the name of Jesus, that mentality need to possess you. In the name of, are you called to be a leader? Then the mentality of leadership in the name of Jesus need to come upon you. You need to become another man. You need to be turned to another man. You need to be turned to another man. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, we prophesy tonight. That the former and the latter rain coming upon us in this season will equip us and transform us and, and turn us to another man, the man God intends for us to be in the name of Jesus. We pray to that Lord, the helpers of destiny who are, who are meant to play a major role in our lives. Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, let me say, I want to treat that off tonight, our helpers of destiny. Help us of destiny, help us of destiny, help us of destiny. Lord, let the anointing that will bring the restoration of God. This all round restoration of God. Man, this catalabos, the lavaboski. Here the cabra ganda la brega de the motion, the lavabababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababab
and how her prayer was answered. Hallelujah. Verse, verses 10 and 11. And she was in bitterness of soul and prayed unto the Lord and wept so. And she vowed a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if thou wilt indeed look on the affliction of thy handmaid and remember me and not forget thy handmaid, but we give unto thy handmaid a man child. Then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life. And there shall no result come upon his head. But so we, we can read towards the end how God answered her prayer and turned her captivity. But when I say an order of recovery, grace order, let's see verse 21. Then we'll come to verse 1 of chapter 2. Verse 21 first. And the Lord visited her so that she conceived her and bear three sons and two daughters. And the child Samuel grew before the Lord. That is, apart from Samuel, she had five other children. That is grace order of recovery. Hallelujah. Grace order of recovery. Now, this is our doxology from this one. And Hannah prayed and said, my, my heart rejoices in the Lord, my horn is exalted in the Lord, my mouth is enlarged over my enemies, because I rejoice in, my, in thy salvation. That is not holy as the Lord, for there is none beside me, neither is there any rock like our God. Talk no more exceeding, so exceeding proud. Let not arrogance come out of your mouth, for the Lord is a God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. The bows of the mighty, mighty men are broken, and they that stumble, sorry, and they that stumble that are guided with strength. They that were full have hired out themselves to bread, and they that were hungry ceased, so that the body has more seven fullness. Fullness. And she that has, and sorry, and she, she that has many children is worse still. The Lord killeth and baketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. He raises up the poor out of the dust and lifteth up the beggar from the donkey to set them among the princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and he has set the word upon them. And he will, he will keep the feet of his saints, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness, for by strength shall no man prevail. The adversity of the Lord shall be broken to pieces, out of heaven he shall turn them upon them. The Lord shall judge the, the ends of the earth, and he shall give strength unto his king. And then so the horn of his anointed. He will give strength to his king, and then so the horn. And Psalm, finally Psalm 13, 113, verse, we're going to read verses 7 to 9. A lot of meanings. Hallelujah. Grace order of the God. Whichever area you have been burning, you want to receive the grace order. Is it in the area of the work of your hand, your mind, in terms of fullness of the mind, or the hand, or the, the womb, or your thought, which is, which is mind, or your word, and so on and so forth. I want to pray tonight for grace order. Of the God. Hallelujah. So in Psalm 13, verse 7, verse 7 to 9. He raised up the poor out of the dogs and lifted the naked. 
out of the donkey, but this is God's speciality. That he may set him with princes, even with the princes of his people. He make her a barren woman to keep out and to be a God's mother of children. Praise me, the Lord. Praise me, the Lord. I want to go ahead tonight and lift up our voice and pray, Lord. This is my season of complete recovery, my season of restoration. Grace order of restoration. The same you did for Anna, Lord, in the name of Jesus. The one who was called by her. became a mother of children. She was seven. In times, fullness. Not counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fullness. That was a full restoration. Full restoration. Grace for Grace for After Samuel, she had five other children. Oh, hallelujah. In the precious name of Jesus. Lord, as you have called this season for us a time of recovery, season of recovery, restoration, complete restoration. Father, we decree it as a grace order of recovery. Grace order, grace order, grace order. Lord, in the name of Jesus, recovery and restoration. Lord, fruitfulness in the area of the mind, in the area of, the, of our speech, in the area, Lord, of our, of our uh, the fruit of the womb. In whatever of the works of our hand, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Meruske, Naboske, Lord, we ask that this be extended to every area of our lives, oh God. Restoration, recovery, in the name of Jesus, in whatever area we have been banned, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, grace all that of recovery, the same that you did for Anna. Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, we say, repeat that paragraph in our lives, in whatever area we are struggling, in whatever area we have not seen fruit, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, we prophesy tonight, grace order of recovery, grace order of recovery, grace order of recovery. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Metulia Sandabre, that I hope, you raise the needy from the, uh, the, 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 the poor from the dogs and the needy from the donkey to set them among the princes of your people, to cause them to inherit the throne of glory. For the, for the pillars of the earth are yours, O God, and you have set the word upon them. Lord, you did it for Joseph overnight from the dungeon to the palace. Lord, in the name of Jesus, whatever area of the company that is necessary for us, O God, this is as we lift ourselves and pray tonight looking unto you, the author and the finisher of our faith. Lord, in the name of Jesus, you did it for Anna. Lord, that grace order of recovery in the precious name of Jesus. Grace order of restoration. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that you visit us in this no God. Visit us, O God. Visit us, O God. Visit us, O God. Visit your church as well, O God. In the name of Jesus. Grace order. Grace order of recovery. In the name of Jesus, grace on the recovery. Reka breka la broba ya la breke de bosha na la boska. Oh reka la mama suto breka na la broke de bosha na la boska. Oh meru ya 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 ya. Reka braga la breke de bosha na la ba 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 Zenobia Takata Talia Canta la Brigade de la Bosanta la Bosca, Eka Bracanta la Brigade de Bosanta la Bosca, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Quickly, we just take one more prayer point. We just want to lift up every, every member of the church. We expect everybody to be back in church now. Hallelujah. The children are back in school. Glory be to God. So we expect everyone to be back in church. We want to lift them up and pray for the courage and strength in Jesus' mighty name. Let's pray for the spirit of fear to be removed and destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. God has always been a great shepherd of his people. When he pulls his flock out, he goes before them. Hallelujah. Particularly in the house of God, it's a safe, it's a safe place for people. We pray in Jesus' mighty name. 
for the fear to be, to be uh, removed and destroyed in the heart and minds of our people. We have not been given the spirit of fear, but the power of love and of the Son man in the name of Jesus. When as we pray for them, we pray for the house of God as well. That because God dwells here, no evil shall befall anybody here. Nobody shall contact anything, disease or sickness here. This is the city of refuge in the name of Jesus. And by the blood of Jesus in this atmosphere, as we sprinkle the blood of Jesus over this atmosphere, we declare in the name of Jesus, no virus or disease or sickness has any place, any part in this place in the name of Jesus. The very air here is sanctified in Jesus' mighty name. Whatever virus or whatever is called disease causing uh, 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 jam or whatever that comes into this environment dies instantaneously in the name of Jesus for the glory destroys them in Jesus' mighty name. And so, Father, in Jesus' name, we want to thank you for all our members, our intending members, all our sons and daughters out there. Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, we command the spirit of fear to be destroyed in their life, the spirit of fear to be removed from them in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you praise in the precious name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, Father, we bless your name for the prayer point we have lifted before you tonight. He said, You have brought us upon this mountain to make us joyful in your house of prayer. We look unto you tonight to do exceeding abundantly above all that we have asked or taught of, Lord. We give you praise. For making our, our voices to be heard on heart. Lord, we thank you for the testimony that we accompany tonight's prayer meeting. We give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So as we saw us in tonight, brethren, let us be intentional in what we saw. Glory, glory, glory. Like I said, the word you speak over your offering is what in the determines the harvest. Amen. Amen. Um, Zechariah 8. Zechariah 8, verse 12. As we prepare our seat tonight, Zechariah 8, 12. For the sea shall be prosperous, the vine shall give for food, and the ground shall give for increase. And the heavens shall give their deed, and I will cause the remnant of these people to possess all these things. So I want you to go ahead and speak to that seed right now as you send that seed on heaven, as you sow that seed in the kingdom. The clear seed, you shall be prosperous in the name of Jesus. I will cause my vine to give her fruit, and my ground to give her increase, and the heavens, heavens, to give their deal. In the precious name of Jesus, you cause me to inherit all these things. I receive it. I receive it. All that you intend for me to receive. All that you propose for me to harvest. Lord, I receive them all. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for everyone as well. As we declare your word tonight over our offerings, over our seed, over our tithe. Lord, in the name of Jesus, thank you for causing us to inherit all these. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let's cast our seed. Glory be to God. Amen. Um, just quickly, as we take one or two announcements. Um, this Saturday is our cleaning exercise. I want to be here again. I want to prepare the house of God for the people of God. Uh, well, I will encourage you to count it a privilege to be a partaker of it. Because the blessing is uh, far, far outweighs whatever you can, the time you can sacrifice to be part of it. So I look forward to seeing you at 11 o'clock Saturday. 11 o'clock Saturday, we'll be here cleaning the house of God and 
preparing the house of God for the people of God. And as you do that, I'm sure the Lord will help prepare your own house in Jesus' precious name. Jesus' mighty name. Like I said, we might be having an anointed service. If that will happen, I will send this message to confirm it uh, so that we can bring our oil on Sunday. Like I said, the one we pray on becoming the person God intends for us to be. As Saul was anointed and he was turned to that person which he was meant to be. I believe that for us. But uh, in this season, the Lord will do something unique in Jesus' name. And in case of any an announcement, I will send text message to us. Uh, please, let's reach out to our neighbors and friends and neighbors in church, those who haven't seen for a while. Please give them a text message, check after them, tell them we miss them. It's time for them to return to the house of God. Amen. So looking forward to seeing you on Sunday. God bless you and have a good evening. Shall we share the grace together? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be better than the with us now and forever. Surely, His goodness and mercy shall follow you. All the days of our life. Now we remain and dwell in the house of the Lord.